welcome to Your Call. It's the one show on Indian television where you, the viewer, can call in directly and ask your question to our personality of the week, whether it's politicians, entertainers, sportsmen, just achievers. How do you do it? Well, that's easy. You can call in on this number on your screen. You can log on to our website, ndtv.com, at Your Call. You can also log on to our accounts at Twitter and Facebook or just walk across to our broadcast vans in all major Indian cities. Join this show. After all, it's your call. Our special guest for this week is Sita Ram Yechuri, member of the CPIM Politburo, also Rajya Sabha MP. He's considered the party's main troubleshooter, never more needed than at a time when the party is down to a low of 16 seats from an all-time high of 44. Let's just look at the highlights of Sita Ram Yechuri's life and career. Thanks very much for joining us tonight on your call. Okay. It's been a session where the left has had to willy-nilly be on the same side as the right in many issues in the Rajya Sabha. Much more muted in the Lok Sabha because of reduced numbers. How has this impacted your performance? How have you seen the first session of the new government? I think it's been fairly good. I mean, in fact, uh, the fears that because of our uh, smaller numbers that uh, maybe we wouldn't be able to raise so many of the issues which we think are important for the country and the people, those fears were actually unfounded in the sense, looking back. Because on many of the major issues uh, confronting, whether it's the question of price rise or whether it's the question of stopping the government and bringing bills which uh, we thought were not good good or yes. not correct and particularly the judges has its bill so in many of these things i think we have scored well and this has been a good session as far as the opposition is concerned did you feel, find it odd being on the same side as the right in so many of these debates you and arun jaitley made a good uh, jugal bandi <laughs> well in the sense that I, I mean which i said in the house as well uh, that i'm pleasantly surprised at the positions that the right has been taking now because on many of these issues uh, they were at variance uh, with our positions in the past but now i think there's some rethink uh, that is going on with them which is good i mean in the sense if they uh, accept uh, fair enough positions so that's good for the country Right, well, uh, let's just go across uh, to our first caller of this uh, evening. Anisha Kaul uh, joins us now from uh, Kolkata. Anisha, please ask uh, your question to Mr. Yachiri. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, I'd like to know uh, what do you think, uh, considering the current scenario, what do you think will be the state of the CPM in the coming uh, state elections? Well, uh, it is going to be a tough election in the state, but I think uh, the CPM's position can only improve from where it is now. So, so it, I think we should do much better and uh, hopefully we should be able to regain the confidence of some of the sections of the people that we lost. Mm -hmm. And I think the corrective measures have already been put in place and I think its uh, impact will be seen in a couple of months. You're facing the opposition, uh, the Trinamool and the Congress together now, t united opposition taking you on. Has that actually changed uh, the left's policies in West Bengal specifically on land acquisition and on industrialization? No, there is not, uh, no radical change, but there's definitely a rethink. There's definitely a rethink on, uh, on uh, many of these issues and particularly on the question of land acquisition. And uh, that uh, some corrective measures have already been taken by our committees that is, put in a, that is being put into practice. But in Bengal, remember, it's not only Trinamool Congress and the Congress, but it is the grand coalition, including the Maoists. Mm -hmm. And fundamentalists of all sorts, I mean, all of them have come together against the left. And this sort of a coalition has happened for the first time in such a big way. So it will be a formidable challenge, but we, we are confident we'll be able to overcome that. A year and close to two years is there before the state elections. Right.